I plan to introduce legislation with regard to Iraq that includes three components. First, it will cap the number of troops in Iraq at the levels they existed on January 1st and will require the administration to seek congressional authorization for any additional troops. This type of troop limit has ample historical precedent, including a cap on the number of U.S. troops in Lebanon in 1983, and more recently, Congress has limited the number of U.S. troops in Colombia. Second, as a means to increase our leverage with the Iraqi government, my legislation would also impose conditions for continued funding of the Iraqi security forces and the private contractors working for the Iraqis. It would require certification that the security forces were free of sectarian and militia influence and were assuming greater responsibility for Iraqi security. I do not support cutting funding for American troops, but I do support cutting funding for Iraqi forces if the Iraqi government does not meet set conditions. Finally, my legislation will require the administration to meet additional conditions for success in Iraq, including the assumption of greater responsibilities by the Iraqi government within six months. The administration has claimed that it intends to hold the Iraqi government to certain conditions, and this legislation will ensure that both the Bush administration and the Iraqi government meet their commitments. The conditions would require the administration to certify that Iraq has disarmed the militias, ensure equitable sharing of oil revenues, make the constitutional changes to ensure rights for each ethnic community, reverse debathification to allow teachers, professionals, and others who join the Ba'ath Party as a means to get a job to serve in the new Iraqi government. It would require the administration to engage in a regional diplomatic initiative, including all of Iraq's neighbors, to address Iraq's future and begin the phased redeployment of U.S. troops. If these conditions are not met, or not on the way to being met within six months, uh, the congressional authorization requirement would be triggered. We all know that this is a very difficult dilemma that is confronting our country. Um, there are, you know, many concerns on both sides of the aisle. Before we came in here, some of you heard uh, my colleagues. Uh, Senator Biden and Senator Hagel, and who've been working with Senator Levin, Senator Reid, and others, uh, to present a bipartisan resolution of disapproval of the President's policy. I certainly will support that. But from what I've heard out of the administration thus far, uh, I think we will eventually have to move to uh, tougher requirements on the administration uh, to get their attention. Uh, this is a grave matter. America's vital national security interests uh, are involved, and certainly uh, the lives and uh, the health of our young men and women in uniform is at stake, and the Iraqi uh, people's uh, future is as well. Uh, so I hope that uh, we can start having a discussion in the Congress among ourselves and excuse me, and with the administration uh, that will lead to a change of course and not uh, adding more troops, pursuing a strategy that under present circumstances cannot be successful.